these kind of questions typically tend to confuse many of us. But if you look at the choices carefully, you'll always get a starting point. The choices say so much percent of A, so much percentage of A in all the all the choices. Or in other words, I need to find what percentage of A. So let's start and try to convert everything with respect to A to get the answer. X percent of A is nothing but X A upon 100 is equal to Y percent of B. Y percent of B will be Y B upon 100. So we need to find what is Z percent of B. Z percent of B will be equal to Z B upon 100. So we need to find what is Z B upon 100. Now when you look at this equation we and the choices. Z is available in all the choices, so we will not worry too much about Z and B is not the only choices. So we need to replace B with rest of the thing. So this tells us B is equal to, this tells us that B is equal to 100 in any case it cancels on both sides, X A upon Y. Okay. So Z B upon 100 to be equal to Z upon 100 and B is nothing but X A upon Y which is nothing but Z percent or other which is nothing but Z X upon Y into 1 by 100 of A which is nothing but X Z upon Y percentage of A. The key to this question was in the fact that all the choices are with respect to A. So when you are looking at this equation, you need to look at converting it in terms of A. So this equation you need to convert in terms of A not in terms of B. Why? Because none of the choices are B within them. Okay. Uh, Bhagya I will not be solving the question which I have not chosen. Those questions you will have to check with your family or when I do a separate session. Uh, I, right now this session I have picked up a few questions and I am looking to look at solving only those specific questions.